Hello and welcome to GTA 5. I'm your host, David Inark, and uh, today we're taking a look um, at a mod. Um, I, don't, I don't even know how long it's been out, but it's the first time I've actually tried to install a car mod, so we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, so I've got it installed per the instructions, at least so far I think so. All right. There it is. Oh, check that bad boy out. So it's a clunker phoenix. <laughs> oh, that is sweet. Oh my gosh. I don't know why number one didn't work. I'll have to, I'll have to look at that. Um, there are three, supposedly three versions of this car. Oh, that is so cool. I just don't know where the first one went. Oh, listen to that. Oh, wahoo! There we go. Whoa! Oh, I have the family-friendly mod uh, installed, so anytime somebody honks the horn, <laughs> it shoots fireworks. And oh, changes the color of the car. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Okay. Man, it's a little uh, hard to drive, this puppy. It wants to go. Wait, do I have some kind of turbos on? I think I might. I, I might have... I might have the uh, enhanced speed enabled on the car. That could be why we're going 900 miles an hour. Oh, do I have, uh, I can't shoot people either, I don't think. Nope. Wow. Okay. Huh. I need to turn off the family-friendly mod. <laughs> it's, it's not going to let me do a thing. Alright, so, out of curiosity, let's see if I can spawn number three. Okay, so there's number three, and basically it's a clean version of the same car. It's actually the... Oh, look at that. Oh, that is nice. That is so cool, man. Alright, so I wonder why number one doesn't work. Let me see. Maybe it's just by itself. Ah, oh, that's it. So here it is by itself. What's actually... Oh, I see. It's rusted out. What's up, lady? Um... You want to not run me over? Thanks. Here, let me get my rust bucket out of here. <laughs> Check this out. Oh my gosh, that is great. Holy cow. And like I said, I think I have some certain things. Oh yeah, because I mean, this car's going way faster than it should be able to. We're out of here. Sorry. Sorry. Let's cruise on down the road. Oh, 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 into the drink. Uh, that's interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. That must be also part of the family-friendly mod. You can't fall in the water. Uh, I've had several people uh, ask me in the comments and, and reach out to me personally about... Um, doing a, a tutorial about the family friendly mod for gta uh for gta 5 i should say um so uh, i'll leave a link to the mod in the description and when you get the mod there is an ini file family friendly dot ini um and in here is where you find all of the settings so um you have different things like um whether you want to uh activate the uh, family friendly mod or not you can actually disable it um notice uh let's see the key to activate and deactivate the mod and its features uh use for example the delete key leave it blank uh to inactivate the feature so i can actually set this to um i don't know i, I can use the delete key so i can set this to uh i think i just do zero x to e i don't think i have to put it in parentheses i don't think so um 
So there's other things like you can increase the engine power, you can decrease engine power. Um, here is an unstuck key. The default is the end key on the keyboard. That means if you uh, get stuck somewhere, then when you push end, it will automatically teleport your vehicle to the nearest road, as it says here in the uh, description down below. Um, you can also, uh, here's a key, the default key is N, which moves the player as a driver to the closest vehicle. So when you're standing next to a vehicle, you just hit N and instantly you're in that vehicle. So there you go. <laughs> um, there's also change to uh, change as a passenger. So the default key is B. So if you're standing next to a vehicle, you hit B, then you become a passenger in that vehicle and the NPCs will actually drive the vehicle. It's pretty cool. Um, again, only if it has a driver, forgot about that. Um, and so you can actually change these things in here. And this talks about some of that stuff. You can activate a controller, um, the mod on off negative one means it's not used. Um, so there's other things you can do. And I don't know all the settings. So I'm not going through all of the settings, but just kind of some of the big ones. Um, you can uh, increase and decrease the uh, engine power using a key. So you could assign keys to uh, where you can tap a key and increase the engine power or tap a different key and decrease that uh, engine power. Um, now, uh, pushing the pressure to a button. So this says the unstuck button is negative one. Uh, but I thought that up above... Huh, okay, well, anyway, um, I'm just going to change this down. Oh, that's if you have a controller. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm reading this as we're going through it. I apologize. It's been a while. It's been a long time since I've been here. Um, here is mod off and on. Uh, one means that the mod is activated. Zero means it's deactivated. Um, and so, like, you could actually set it to zero, and that means that it's not activated uh, I believe that means it's not activated at the time you load the game, but then you could hit your assigned key and it would activate the mod. I believe that's what that does. Um, so here is, and, and you have to kind of think of these um, in terms of a lot of these are like the negative. So for example, remove all player weapons. Well, if I put, um, so one means yes, I want to remove all player weapons. So I did zero, meaning... I'm good. I give me all the weapons. Um, police ignore player. Uh, I, now I have that as zero, and that means that no, they won't ignore me. Everyone ignores the player. I want to do zero on that because I'm I'm gonna edit things. I'm changing things up here. Um, clear the player level wanted. May, basically, meaning that uh, um, if this is set to zero, uh, if it's set to zero that means that you can be wanted so you have, you kind of have to twist your brain around how you're thinking about this okay so we're gonna do this uh dispatch cops for the player uh if zero no cops will be spawned to arrest you um, clear the area cops is zero removes most of the cops um and again if i wanted that to happen um, then I would put a one, right? Clear the area of cops. Zero means don't do it. One means yes, do what this says. Uh, player can be hassled by gangs. Sure, why not? Player can be dragged out. All right, so here you have one. Yes, the player can be dragged out of a vehicle. Zero means they can't. A negative 10 is zero, but also it means that um, NPCs cannot get in your car. So like right now I have a negative 10. So that means not only can I not be dragged out, but that means that the NPC can't even open my door or, you know, can't get in my car or any of that kind of stuff. So it's basically that prevents them from driving away in your car. I think if that's right. Uh, player can ragdoll. Yes, I want that. Player can attack friendly. So in, in um, earlier in the video, you saw where I couldn't shoot... Uh, I couldn't shoot NPCs. That's because I have this on zero. So I'm going to change this to a one and say, uh, yeah, like we can do that. Um, player can't fall off the or leave the vehicle. Uh, use a trainer to spawn into other ones. So if you do stick to vehicle equals one, then that's where that means that you can't fall off or leave a vehicle. That means you are stuck to the vehicle. Okay, so I want zero because I don't know who wants to be stuck to the vehicle. Oh, here you go. Teleport went into water. Okay, which is funny. I guess that 
I, I guess it only works for certain vehicles. I don't know. That was kind of weird. But anyway, switch vehicle on collision. Um, so this is kind of cool. If you enable that, that means that when you hit a vehicle, then you then are the driver of that vehicle. So every vehicle you hit, you become the driver of, which is crazy, crazy fun, but also gets very frustrating. Um, no visual jacking. So notice I happen to have set that set to one. No dragging out, smashing windows, but you can still get into a vehicle. Um, if the ped can be dragged out equals one, um, which I think is down below. Um, so I'm going to set that to zero. I'm basically going to turn the game back into pretty much GTA 5. Um, using the horn makes peds who want come join the vehicle. Two means only when you're in a bus or taxi. So the way this works is if you pull up to a stop sign or, or really you're just stopped and, you hon and, and this is set to one, that means yes, do this. That means when I honk the horn, any NPCs near me will get into my car. So I can instantly have a group of folks to come and be in the car. So there you go. <laughs> um, funny visual effects and sounds. Okay, this is where I did the whole rocket thing um, where, you know, when I honk the horn, they shot off fireworks and all that. And there's all kinds of numbers in here. So you would look through the list and you say, oh, okay, uh, 15, the player vehicle gets random colors plus everything above that or whatever. So I'm just going to say zero. That means that the game just, plays normal without getting all silly and goofy ah here's extra engine power so as you can see <laughs> i had this boosted to 3870 which explains why all my cars went schwa <laughs> right so uh i think if i just do 100 engine power i think i just want one i think that's right because that's just like regular power i i think that's right uh, vehicle light multiplier, negative one, it's not used, one means normal. Everything above one is more powerful. Remember to set a value you like before setting back to nine to one, I'm good. Disable all firing and melee. So again, if I enable that, then I'm, then I'm telling it, yes, disable all firing and melee. So I want a zero because that's, you know, I still want to, you know, shoot and stuff. Um, I'm not going to worry about max speed. Um, let's see, stop cutscenes, change to a new vehicle as driver mode. Um, not quite sure what we do with that. I'm not going to worry about distances. Um, consequences, there are no consequences when crashing into, uh, I don't know what that means. Hmm. I can't remember what the default is for that. Hmm. I don't know. So no player collisions. Zero is normal. Otherwise you can have no collision. So basically you could have like, it's kind of like no clipping, I think, basically. Um, no certain police sounds. Um, now nah, we can... Setting to zero requires a game save reload before the sound and music is back. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Can switch player. Uh, if you hit that to zero, that means you can't play as Trevor, which is interesting. I, I don't know why that is. But yes, I can I can switch players. That's fine. I can use my phone. The player is not invincible. I can be damaged. Um, okay. If the player is set to zero and players one, you can still make yourself invincible depending on the kind of changes. So again, there's all kinds of settings in here. I'm just trying to um, remove all ped weapons. Now I'm gonna change that to zero. We'll, we'll let the NPCs have weapons. Disappear underground. All close vehicles with peds and sides will go underground. Oh yeah, yeah. So I played with this a little bit. Disappear underground, if you set that to one, that means if you go to crash into a car, they disappear under the ground. Basically, you can't crash into anybody. It's crazy. Um, block melee with animation? I don't know. Um, sure, I guess. Um, can attack friendly? Yes. We're going to set that. Because, again, I want this game to be just like uh, regular GTA. Um Create random cops. 
the NPCs can ragdoll. NPCs can be dragged out of the car. Okay, so this this one here says no strippers, hookers, or cults. I'm going to actually leave that enabled. That way I don't have any of those in the game just because. Um, peds that like you won't flee. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Uh, max police vehicle speed. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave that alone. Uh, no smoking or drug dealing. So I can do less smoking, no drug dealing, or I can do both. That's where that is. I'll, I'll leave that. That's fine. Uh, distance to ground. Uh, Ped is invincible. Nope, we don't want the, we don't want NPCs to be invincible. Um, Peds can be damaged. Yes, when Ped is invincible, when Ped invincible is set to zero, you could still do things. So like I could put it to where they were bulletproof, so they couldn't die by bullets, but you could still, you know, catch them on fire or they could die in explosion. These are all zero, so they are not these things. All right. All right, uh, don't fix, don't fail. It can fly through windscreen. Oh, okay, so that is um, when you crash uh, in the game regularly, you can fly through the windshield. By setting this to zero, you will never fly through the windshield. So that, that's actually cool by me. Can be targeted. I don't know, sure, why not? Stop audio scenes, yes. The vehicle invincible, no. We definitely want to be able to damage vehicles. Um, the vehicle can be damaged as one, yes. Uh, and I'm not going to worry about proofs. That's good there. Vehicle deformation. Uh, so, only, only matters if vehicle invincibility is zero and vehicle can be damaged as one. So, tires can burst. Yes. See, and this is why, um, this is why when I was shooting the tires, they didn't burst because it was at zero. Vehicle is strong. Zero. We're going to make that regular. Wheels can break. One. Vehicle can be visibly damaged. One. Engine can degrade. One. Vehicle avoid explosion is zero. Can do drive-bys. Um, okay. So that prevents middle finger. So yeah, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, again, you have player sounds, and I'm going to do no player sounds in here. I'm going to do no pedestrian sounds. That's basically so um, there's no cussing and that kind of stuff uh, in the game. Um, here are the radio stations. And I thought, yeah, off equals that the radio is always off. So that's good for me. Um, I don't change. Oh, you can disable the web browser. Um, no. I'm going to, let's do that. Uh, app contacts, yeah, we can do contacts. Uh, no, no smoking bonds. Event car steal, yeah, we can steal cars. Disturbing player scenes, no, no. Okay, we'll just leave all those. So, I made the changes that I wanted to make. Then I save it back. And now, I should be able to go back in the game and... Uh, we should be able to play it pretty much like GTA. So we'll take a look at that. We'll be right back. All right, here we go. We are back in the game. Now, supposedly, if I hit delete, deactivated, activated. So there you go. So I've assigned the delete key, and now I can activate and deactivate the family-friendly mode all I want to. In the meantime, uh, I made some changes, right? So I should be able to... think I think I'm supposed to be able to shoot people I don't I don't think he got shot oh there you go <laughs> that'll do it oh you ran into me you little putts wow but you don't flee okay Sorry. All right, and the police are after me. Um, but obviously, I didn't set something right because... I guess because I didn't have them flee, I guess. I don't know. So where's the police? Let's, let's see, there should be a police. There should be police somewhere. Come on, guys. You guys are being slow. I have something set to where the police won't come within a certain radius of me. 
That is so weird. Oh, that is weird. Okay. So, out of curiosity... Look, I'm right here. Look, I'm right here. Here I am. Okay, so what if we disable? There. Now what? Oh, yep. That'll do it. Or maybe not. Oh, well. When you disable... Oh, yeah. Bad words. Okay. I'll have to edit that. But they're still not coming after me. What? I don't understand. How are the police not coming after me? I am so confused. Oh. So now, okay. I think I'm okay. Oops, sorry. Not really what I had in mind. What? Okay, so obviously I've got to fix some stuff here. So, anyhow. Generally, after I made those changes, the game is better. <laughs> Look at these guys are like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> That's awesome. Tear gas. There you go. You guys crying now? Look, they're following me. Hey, I got I got a posse. Come on. Come with me. Uh, that is funny. Look, if I run into him. Hey, hey, don't don't bother me. That is so weird. Okay. Obviously, I need to fix something. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, we'll see what we can do. Okay, I got back in the any file, and it looks like um, part of the problem here is I did set this to where the player can be damaged, but for some reason I still had these. I don't remember these being set to one. I thought these were zero. Okay, so now I can actually be attacked. Block melee with animation. I'm just going to say zero. I don't... I don't, I'm not sure what that means, so. Can attack friendly, yeah. Create random cops. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so max police speed. Let's do minus one. Peds like you and won't flee. Now let's do zero. For that. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can save this. And try this again. Okay, here we go. All right, so I think I've got this fixed now. Let's find out real quick. Um, I need to find somebody to take down, which I know is ugly and mean and rude, but, you know, you got to do something. Alright, so I can shoot up the car. Okay, you would think... There. Why Why are there no police coming? Here, let's fix that. Oh, maybe. Okay, now they're fleeing. There we go. Where's the police? Hello, police. Why? There we go. Okay, now I'm wanted. Um, I'm wanted, but the police aren't sh coming anywhere near me. Okay, here we go. Finally. Good heavens. Now, are they really going to come get me? That's the question. Where are you? There you are. Alright, are you coming for me now? 
No? How about you? You guys kind of come get me? Or what? Oh, yep, they sure are. <laughs> okay, it works. It works. Run away. Run away. <laughs> there, I'm going in here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's other people in the way. Run. There we go. Uh, it's the nature of the beast. So, anyway. There you go. That's what I mostly wanted to show you. That and really what I mainly wanted to show was the uh, was the uh, car. So if I uh, spawn a vehicle and enter the name and we enter, uh, let's do three. Yeah, look at there. Oh, and now my car should drive normally as well. as normally as I can drive it. Let's see, so if I... Let's see here, alright. So it shouldn't go too crazy. Yeah, see? <laughs> Before I had the speed set to where it was crazy town, but now I can actually drive. Yahoo! Oop, that's gonna be a problem. Oh! Dude. Oops. Oh. I can't get around the fire. I'm stuck on the fire hydrant. Give me a little smart car. Oh, sorry. So, can I... Oh, I can't do the carjacking thing. Yeah, I can't do the carjacking thing. Um, because otherwise that would let me do the middle finger, so I'm not putting that on just you know, because. But that's cool. All right. All right, so there you go. Ooh. Oops, sorry. All right, hope you enjoyed the video, the tutorial. Feel free to leave any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories down in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed a little GTA 5 with... Uh, a mod that uh, I downloaded and stuck in there. And plus we looked at the family friendly stuff. Um, and uh, hopefully that will help those of you that have been asking about the family friendly mod. Um, I still have version 2.5 installed. I've not looked to see what the most current version is. So I definitely want to go get the most current version. And I'll leave that in the description down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.